Hi everyone, this is Emmanuel. I'm glad to be with you today. Are you here because you forgot your email? Or you forgot your password? Or maybe you're watching just because you want to learn something that can help you in case you lose your password or your email. I'm going to show you how you can proceed to recover your email, your Gmail account. Before, let me tell you something very important. When you're opening an account with Google or other platforms, even Facebook, it is important to add a recovery email or a recovery phone number. Why it is important? Because if you lose your password or even if you forget your email, Google will ask you for a phone recovery or an email recovery. If you are unable to provide this information, then you're in trouble. You may not be able to recover your account because they need to make sure that the account is yours. And they need information to verify that the account is for you. Let's see, I'm on Google right now. I'm going to sign in. Let's see, I enter my email, something like this. Okay. Okay. Let's see, it doesn't work. It's gonna ask me for, you see, this is not valid. So that means I forgot, I forget my email. So what I have to do is clicking on here where it says forgot email. Okay, I click on it, and then Google asks me to enter my phone number or my recovery email, my phone number recovery or email recovery. That means if I register the phone number with Google, this is where I have to write it. I have to put it here so they can help me recover my account. Or if I don't have, if I didn't register a phone number, or maybe I registered an email for recovery, so I can just put it here, and then I click next, and they will help me. But in case I didn't do that, it may be very difficult for me to recover my account. Let's go back. Now this is in case you forgot your email. Now imagine that I have the right email, and then. I forgot the password. Imagine that I have the right email. Okay. And then, okay, here is the, is the email. And I'm going to click next. Okay, here it says enter your password. I need to put the right password. Let me put something, imagine that I forget it and I just put something. And then click next, what it says. Wrong password, try again or click forgot password to reset it. So what I do, I click on forgot password. Then, here what Google asks me, enter last password. Okay. If I enter the last password correctly, I may have a chance to recover my account easily. Let's see. Um, I don't remember the last password either. For example, let me put, just put something. Okay. What is this? Google will send a verification code to am at gmail.com. This is what? This is my recovery email. That's why it is important to put a recovery email or a phone number for recovery. It is very important. Now, Google will send me 
a code and what I can just do is click on send is clicking on send here okay Google sent me a code so now what I'm going to do I'm going to check my other email and take the code and put it in the space right here I can go right here check my other email let me see let me try to open it okay I log in already and here it says Google Google verification code I click on it and here is the code okay I just copy the code and then I paste it right here and I click next and you see it says create password now I have the chance to create a new password and here confirm the new password it's easy to do it because I had the recovery email if I didn't have the recovery email I would be in trouble or yeah or if I didn't have a recovery phone number I would be in trouble Google may not you know might not allow me to change anything my password anything to do anything on my account this is very important your recovery email or your recovery password is very very I mean I'm sorry your recovery email or recovery phone number is very very important okay now imagine let's try another way okay here imagine let's go back forgot email okay this is my email let's do forgot email okay ask me for this um let me get anything next now you see Google asked me for my name for my last name they're checking why they ask this because I I have just done that I have just checked it and they sent me the recovery email and now I asked for it again then they asked me for my first name and my last name just to make sure Google is still checking you know Google is checking to make sure that it is the right person guess what if you didn't enter your name properly maybe you put something else something a fake information or something which is not true now you're in trouble because if you put if you don't put the right name or the right last name then you're gonna be in trouble okay this is just to show you I'm not going to do this because you know uh, just to show you oh let's try with another email I'm going to close this uh, okay let's try with another email because this is let me put another email because Google now is asking me for my name and my first name my first name and my last name to make sure let me try another email that I use uh, let me see uh, okay make sure that I put it right okay now let's see with this this is the email click next next and I forget my password now I do forget password it will ask me to enter my last password then in case I don't remember any last password Google will ask me for my recovery email but I can try another way let's see if this I think this will not will not work for me and I would like to try another way let me go that way try another way here I right, says open a Gmail app on Apple iPhone and then type yes and the prompt to sign in okay you may try this or not try another way let's see what other ways we need some time to review your request they say now they're trying they they start dotting you they're dotting you because they're dotting about you because now you've been trying 
different options and now Google is asking, is wondering if you are the right person. You see, we need some time to review what your request. Enter email. That means you, you have to provide your email so they can send you a message sometime later. So you see how difficult it is if you don't have your recovery account. Your, I mean, if you don't have your recovery email or your recovery phone number. It is very important to have those information. If you don't have, it is very important to have this information because you need to help Google for Google can help you recover your account. Please, please do it. When you create a Gmail account with Google, please put your recovery email or your, your recovery phone number. If not, you may lose your account forever. You may lose it with all your important information forever, forever. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope this was very helpful to you. If you like it, please share, give me a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be among the first people to receive notifications when other videos are ready. Thank you very much.